Hi, this is Marlon Lum from Cultural Heritage Imaging. I'd like to take a few minutes today to talk to you about your light positioning for your horizontal RTI data capture setup. Looking at this image right here, camera's facing down, you're on a tripod, everything's stable. The only thing that's moving ever is your light. And the positioning of that light is very important. So here we are, bird's eye view, camera, tripod legs, looking down, top view. It's really helpful to imagine an umbrella uh, over your whole setup, which can also give you the concept of the hemisphere over your setup as well. We can also think of a clock face. Here it's interacting with the tripod legs. This next illustration, I've just taken some lines and sort of drawn those out. If you can think of those as ribs, and your flash or your strobe would follow those ribs from the top of your hemisphere all the way down out to the edge. Try and visualize your light traveling along the Earth's longitude. That arc is really important. So here we have four light positions per hour, which would give us a total of 48 files in this capture set, in this data set. So this part is actually really important. So by staggering our light positions a little bit off of each rib, we actually get better light coverage over the surface of our object. A really good way to look at your light positions is to examine the blend map. On the right we have our array so this is giving us a depiction of the light positions from the array. This is a machine and the, the coverage, the light coverage, is perfect. This is what we're going for. This is what we're trying to replicate. Here in the middle we have a blend map that was taken underneath a camera stand, like a giant Phoba stand. And over here on the far left we have a blend map that was shot underneath a tripod. And as you can see we have three distinct holes or gaps in coverage in our, in our lighting. So in conclusion, the goal is to get a broad, even distribution of light over your surface. If you have additional questions, don't forget to check out the CHI forums. URL is right there. It's free to sign up. Great information being shared and distributed from that point.